Okay, today we're going to uh, investigate using uh, SIM media. So SIM ha has, uh, it's one of those combination tests and we have three different attributes we can learn from that. The S stands for hydrogen sulfide production or sulfur reduction. So that's gonna be, um, uh, that's going to be represented by black precipitate in a tube. Then you have I for indole production, and that's the breakdown of tryptophan to an intermediate, which is um, known as indole. And then you have motility, right? And so I'm using three different organisms. We've got Klebsiella pneumoniae, we've got Escherichia coli, and we've got Salmonella typhimurium, also known as Salmonella cholera suis. So if you look at these things, right away you can appreciate two different things. Number one, you can appreciate that this tube is positive for hydrogen sulfide production, okay? This tube is positive for motility. This one is negative for motility. And to tell you the truth, when you have this black uh, precipitate that takes over the entire tube, you cannot really tell whether or not the organism is modal or non-modal. So in this case, if we were in a laboratory of clinical importance, you would have to do a little more testing to figure out whether or not it was molar or not because as hydrogen sulfide reacts with the iron, it diffuses throughout the entire medium and it turns the entire medium black. For our cases, we're gonna call this hydrogen sulfide positive, motility positive because I know salmonella is modal, okay? So we can tell that this is non-modal, non-hydrogen sulfide production, producing. This is modal, non-hydrogen sulfide producing and this is modal and hydrogen sulfide producing. But now we need to figure out whether or not they produce indole from breaking down tryptophan enzymatically. And so we'll, to, to figure that out, what we do is we add a little bit of COVAX reagent. And if we add COVAX reagent, and if it turns red at the meniscus, then it's positive. You can appreciate that that's negative. Again, adding COVAX here. You can appreciate that that's negative. And then this is E. coli. Indole is a one of those indicator tests for E. coli. And so here you can see that it produces a nice red lake at the meniscus, right? Yes. So here again, if you look at these, you can see that this combination test, SIM, which tests for the presence of hydrogen sulfide production, the presence of um, indole from the breakdown of tryptophan, and um, also modal or non-modal. So let's go through these one more time. This one is Klebsiella pneumoniae. It is negative for hydrogen sulfide production. It's not black. It's negative for indole production. It doesn't have a red lake. And it is negative for motility. There's growth only at the site of inoculation, right? So this is S negative, I negative, M negative, okay? Here is E. coli, and so with E. coli, it's negative for hydrogen sulfide production, no black precipitate. It's positive for indole production, and it's positive for motility. So E. coli is S negative, I positive, M positive, and then salmonella typhimurium. It's positive hydrogen sulfide, it's negative for indole, it didn't produce a red lake, and it's positive for motility. So it is S positive, I negative, M positive. Okay? Thank you.